Hello everyone! I am actually at the new house and they accepted our offer. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> We've been wanting to live closer to our kids' school for six years. So this is a huge answer to prayer, a huge blessing. I am currently preparing our bedroom to paint. It needs some patching done and I'm wanting to get that done today. So I am taking my plant collection and putting it in the garage and I'm clearing out my master closet. Tomorrow, the professional pictures come. The professional is coming to take pictures of our home. So here's the other part of my plant collection. I considered asking my mom if I could keep it at her house. My mom likes plants a lot too. So I considered that, but I was like, no, there's just so many. I think the best thing for me to do is to put it out in the garage while the pictures happen and then bring it back in the next day or leave it in the garage, taking care of it in the garage while I, uh, while we move. So I have all my plants and this plant shelf I want to spray paint white anyway. I had a cute video planned before we decided to move. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to get all these things picked up and I have a little side pocket here and just do these plants. I have new wind under my cells. The sellers of the house that we put an offer on accepted our final offer. So we are over the moon excited. I am starting on the living room. I just cleaned out the closet and everything. I was showing you that. Oh, I hear little boys yelling. I need to go check on them. But I am gonna go ahead and patch up some holes where we had things hung. And yeah, so here's how. Here is how the master bedroom is looking. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. I feel like I haven't been doing very good before and afters, so I really wanted to. Oh, hello. All right, I wanted to do some good before and afters of this room because I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Talk to you soon. Everybody's tired and grouchy. She's making us clean our closets. We're packing closets tonight. Wow, you guys did it. Is that all of them? Is that everything out of there? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome sauce. There's mine and Ryan's mess to deal with. The boys. Big boys stuff. This is wild. Oh, God, they did it. They did it. We got home too late from Levi's baseball game yesterday to be able to do this. So... We got all the boxes out to the garage that we're in. Ryan is finishing up. We just took down the curtains, finishing up the last patching jobs. I'm taking Haley to her drop off for her field trip today. I'm gonna text my dad and see if we can borrow his truck again. And that's where we are at. Hello everyone, I am actually at the new house and they accepted our offer. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> We've been wanting to live closer to our kids' school for six years. So this is a huge answer to prayer, a huge blessing. I'm so excited. So what I am doing today at this house and just fingers crossed and any, if you pray, if you have good vibes to the universe please pray that our our house our farm will sell so that we can get over here okay so what i'm doing today is i'm going to draw a picture of the layout of the land and i'm going to make a plan of how to move all the animals over here i've been thinking about it and i think we're going to move the animals first so that when moving day comes so i think it's going to take us two days 
to move everything over here. Sorry. I really, I really, when I think about it, I, I start crying because I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking day one, we'll be moving all the animals over here, making sure they have food and water, and then we'll go home. So we live far, it's like 45 minutes. I don't know. I'm so bad at time. It's a long drive to get here. <laughs> And we're going to go on the back roads with all of our animals so that we don't have to take them on a main highway. So we're going to drive the back roads to get here. So um, my thinking is we'll move the chicken coop over and we'll move all the animals over and get them fed and watered. And then the next day we will rent a U-Haul and move all of our human stuff, all of our furniture and everything. And we'll get over here and make sure the animals are fed and watered before we unload. So they'll be getting fed probably at like noon the second day, but they will have fed them in the evening here so that they will have food and water here. So anyway, I'm drawing a picture now because we also had to put fencing up before we bring over the goats. So that is the number one concern I have um, to get them here first. Or I don't know. It just depends on when our house closes. Or we can move all our human stuff over here first and then move all the animals. I don't, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to work. Okay. It's all right. That's why I'm here to make a picture and a plan. I'm sorry, I'm not going to show you the house because it's going to be a big surprise. People who live in this area know the house, so can't wait to be your neighbors. I'm so excited. Okay, time to start painting. I'm going to start with baseboards. And I got... Um... I'm going to do a spray paint. We're going to see if this works. Um... Today, it's really hitting me. I'm just sheer exhaustion for all of the things that we have done in the past 12 days. And I am just completely exhausted. So we did get good news though with our septic tank today. Great news. It's draining properly. It's doing well. The main inspector came and he gave us great news that our tank is plenty big enough for the house that we have that we're selling and that we are probably just going to have to sink one leech line needs to get lower. They're going to give us a quote on that on Monday and we are praying for good news for that. So it was already great news because he opened it up and it wasn't, wasn't filled. It was working properly. So, so great news. When we failed, it was devastating. I can't even tell you how devastated we were because like I said, we've never had a problem with it and I can't imagine that it's not functioning because there is nine people living in this house. I can't imagine that it's not functioning properly because we've never even had to find out where it is. Anyway, that's probably the problem. We never did maintenance on it. So there's a little tip. If you're going to have a septic tank, apparently you're supposed to do maintenance on it every couple of years. We thought it was fine because we'd never done maintenance. So Anyway, all is well in that department. I'm gonna get on to painting and I will talk to you soon. Baseboards are finished. I used my hand to block some of the carpet from getting sprayed because two of the corners in this room are round and so I just put my hand up. Okay, anyway, obviously I am desperate. <laughs> desperate to get all the painting done and everything this is the last room we're painting and then it's as is but this room needed i thought it would be nice for someone to move into a nice new master bedroom that's freshly painted and all right so i just finished the baseboards and the window seals and it looks really pretty and bright and i am going to start on corners because usually ryan and i paint together and i do corners and he does the roller and i have two hours before I need to take Hannah to the dentist. So the thing that is so difficult about this is we're at the end of the school year and anybody who is a parent, you know what the last three weeks of school looks like. It is absolute chaos. There's end of the year concerts, there's baseball games because baseball season starts up. There's track, I don't have any kids in track, but like there's end of track meets, end of the year banquets and 
recognitions and and you're trying to do all the th and field trips and you're trying to do all the things that you do for te appreciating the teachers of what they've done all year. So we have been driving over to the town. We're moving in two and three times a day sometimes. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, it is quite a drive. So, and our dentist is 20 minutes away. So like, it's not just hop in the car, take Hannah to the dentist. It's hop in the car, be in the car for 20 minutes, go to the dentist, be there for 30, 45 minutes, get back in the car. It's like, it's hours of driving. And that is the number one reason we are moving. But anyone who is looking for a country lifestyle, this is the perfect place. So it's not a downfall, it's just an adjustment. But when you get kids that are the ages of my kids, it becomes very taxing. And that is the biggest number one reason that we have been looking to move. So like I said, I love this house, I love this property, but I am looking forward to someone having this as their fresh home, maybe their forever home, maybe a retirement home, maybe a retirement home, like a retire a dream retirement place to live on a farm. Anyway, not like turn I guess someone could turn it into a retirement home. Okay, I am really off topic. I'm gonna get to painting the corners now. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna make sure all the walls have all the cobwebs and everything off of it because the paint sticks way better if they're nice and clean. And I'm gonna get to painting corners. New plan. I am going to clean the house and Ryan's gonna help me paint this this evening when he gets home from work. I just called him feeling so defeated and he's like, and I have to get Hannah to her dentist appointment within the hour and so I just, I've got to pause on the painting. I got it all taped so it's ready. Ready to paint. But we're just going to push pause on that and I'm gonna clean and get the other rooms clean while we're waiting. Like taking the paint the tape off while the paint is a tiny bit wet still and then kind of keeps it from peeling off the color anyway. the painting turned out really pretty I love it There we go. That's how it turned out. Pictures are today. And 
I gotta tidy up this house and Ryan is taking the stuff we forgot to take to the dump to the dump. <laughs> so that stuff right there. person who's gonna do it so we were late yeah we were so late they are being kind enough to get us to turn off yep Alrighty, pictures were actually rescheduled okay pictures were actually rescheduled for tomorrow or monday because the photographer had a family emergency come up which is actually kind of good news for us because I really wanted to do a very good deep clean of the house before the pictures actually happened. So what I am currently doing, and I don't know, this might sound crazy, I am going around the baseboards with um, a toothbrush and some pine saw. It really cleans them good. So this one's done, you can see that it's clean. But you just take a toothbrush and you gently go like this and it gets out any dirt and debris. And then I take a Clorox wipe and I gently wipe it away so it doesn't mess with the paint. And it just really polishes it and makes it look really nice. So I'll show you, I got this linen closet all the way packed. I showed this in a previous video of how full it was. Oh, I need to do the baseboards in there. Good thing I showed you this. So I am just really polishing the house so that it can look beautiful for the pictures and beautiful for anyone who walks through it. I don't know if you like cleaning or if you don't like cleaning. I am in camp. I don't like cleaning. I, I never do it, to be honest. I mean, I keep the floors swept up because we have a baby that's crawling and um, I do the dishes and that kind of thing, but I don't ever do like wiping down the walls and I just don't. So Kaden comes in and he goes, did you paint the closet? I said, no, I just cleaned it. How disgusting is that? My closet was so dirty that he thought that I painted it when I cleaned off all the dirt that's been accumulating over 10 years because I've never wiped down that counter. Maybe once when I was nesting with Emmett because there was one, one of my pregnancies and it was with Emmett that I wasn't nauseous or sick and it was amazing. It was a miracle pregnancy. I don't know why I wasn't sick, but I wasn't. And so anyway, I wasn't sick with my pregnancy with Emmett and I got this like cleaning bug and I started cleaning everything. So I might have wiped that closet down once when I was pregnant with Emmett. <laughs> that was four years ago. <laughs> Actually five because he's four. So my pregnancy was five years ago. So yeah, I don't know. Are you camp clean or are you camp? Don't care. I'd rather be out in the garden. <laughs> I had the most beautiful Mother's Day ever. It was so awesome filming. Um, the kids made little things for me and I'm gonna read them. So this one is from Haley. Emmett made his for my mom, <laughs> for grandma. Mine says, Dear Mom, I love it when we watch Ants Canada together. You teach me to walk in the light by teaching me to watch scriptures. My favorite thing you've taught me is how to bake. I feel loved when you kiss me. This Mother's Day, I want to thank you for helping me with lots of stuff. You're the best mom because you are kind to me. Love, Haley. So cute. Then this one is from Levi. Dear Mom, I love it when we watch Ants Canada together. You teach me to walk in the light by taking me to church. My favorite thing you've taught me is to eat. <laughs> I feel loved when you feed me. This Mother's Day, I want to thank you for giving, me, for giving life to me. You are the best mom because I love you. Love you, bye. And this one is from Hannah. 
Dear Mom, I love it when we walk and talk together. You teach me to walk in the light by doing the right. I love it when you... I guess I can't really see what it says. Say... I don't know what that says. My favorite thing you taught me is choosing the right. I love it when you kiss me. This Mother's Day, I want to thank you for bringing me here. And she said, bringing me here to earth. You are the best mom because you love me. Love, Hannah. Happy Mother's Day. I love it when you say... I don't know. I'll have to ask what it says. Anyway, now Ryan and I are getting to work on some crown molding in the big boys' room. And I'm finishing laundry, and then the house is ready to be staged, and I will do a walkthrough with you for that. There's what Ryan did to make this room look nicer. Earlier today, my mom said that I could move my plant collection to her house, so I hope she knows what she got herself into. Just kidding. I'm very grateful because I had them in the garage, the ones that I have a lot of my plants. So my succulents are still in the rolly cart in my bedroom and I can just roll that anywhere and it's not too unsightly, unseemly. Anyway, uh, but these ones were all the ones that were just big and bulky and just all over my dresser and just to make it nice and clean and clear out, cleared out in my bedroom. I had put these in the garage, so they're not doing well in the garage. Hi, so anyway, so I'm dropping off a bunch of plants at my mom's house. Bloop. Thanks, Mom. All right, I am totally ready for pictures for our house tomorrow, and I'm going to show you what I staged. Some of the kids are sleeping. All of the kids are sleeping, so I'm going to be very quiet when I go into their rooms to show what we've done. So excited with how that's looking. And then I decided to leave my succulent collection here. My mom has all the rest of my plants. Oh, and my carnivorous plant collection. Part of it's here, part of it's in the kitchen. They're doing good. Let me go back here in this corner, do a little. This bedroom turned out so pretty. I'm super happy with it. Happy! And then our closet is ready as well. Lined up the shoes that we're keeping. If I was ever a minimalist, this is how my house would look. I don't think I'll ever be a minimalist. Especially because the kids are like, where's this? Where's that? And then you walk into the living room. I really love how the living room turned out as well. I'm probably going to put that Pampers box in the closet when we leave or in the car. The fireplace aren't, turned out so pretty, you guys. I'm so happy with it. So, so happy with it. It's beautiful. Someone is going to love living here. And I put a string of pearls here. I love string of pearls. The TV. Clean that shelf so much. So it's just gardening and homesteading books. And of course, a plant because we all know I love plants. I love how the lighting has turned out in this whole house. Ryan has done such a good job on the, on the lighting. Someone is going to really get to enjoy this. This is for um, our realtor. Her name is Yvonne. If you're in my area, she's very awesome. Okay, so I removed a lot of our food stuff so that they could see how much shelving is in here. And we don't use hardly any of those cans. It's just food storage. There's the curtains. And we also redid this laundry room last year. I have some videos. I did want to change that light, but we never got around to that. So, and I wanted to redo these floors. 
We'll see. We have some stuff to do the floor, so we might do it. I don't know, probably not. And then this corner of the kitchen, I just really love how it turned out. I think it looks beautiful. Put plants on each shelf. I actually have to move these up to the counter every day because of our baby. He tries to eat them. So let me do a slow walk around of the kitchen. It is just beautiful. Oh, I was taking everything off the fridge. Haley was super excited. She got 100% on this. But a friend told me, take everything off the fridge so people can envision themselves in there. But I like that sticker because it says, dream big. And maybe someone's dreaming of having a farm. And I do have to keep our quail eggs going on the kitchen counter. So that's kind of funny. And Goldie, of course, stays right there. Having a major algae problem with Goldie. But there's our cupboards, our microwave oven. Of course, the roosters and chickens all over. Now, I love how I have fresh eggs on the table. And they haven't been washed, so they're so good to eat. And a butter dish. I think that just looks really cute, like farm country kitchen. Just, I'm just really thrilled with how this house has turned out. It's really, and my bird clock. Just really love this house. I think someone else is going to love it too. I know I keep saying that. Okay, the kids' bathroom is so pretty. New lighting in here. New shelving. This will stay. This shelf will stay. Because our new house, we don't need it. And it matches perfectly with the hooks. And we have seven kids. So we have enough for seven hooks. You have the one on the door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Love it. Love how the paint turned out in here, this color, and the floor. I really, really love how this all turned out. And a brand new toilet. Just really awesome. This shelf, I'm not going to open it because it is very messy in there. We have not packed this room at all. But I figure I need to let the kids keep all their products. But there are two shelves in here. So you can envision it. I like this round mirror. I just thought it gave it some good character. Okay, we're gonna go in the computer room. Does anyone want a bed? I'm gonna post it on Facebook. We don't need this bed. It's a computer desk and shelving, but we will not have a space for this bed when we go to the new house, so that has to come down. So I made sure and got all of this cleaned. This is actually gonna be coming with me on the trip tomorrow. Um, to get Caden's cast off so that I can work on some of the teacher's presents. A fun idea. So here's Ryan's computer and my computer for YouTube stuff and then the printer. But just really took everything out. Okay, I'm going to be very quiet going into the next rooms. cupboard cleaned out and just kept a few blankets a few towels and then this is all of our gaming stuff I didn't want it on the shelf in the living room so I just put it in here but I wiped it out cleaned all those baseboards just made it look really nice for anyone walking through the house
bigger in here. As you can see, it's a little blurry if I zoom out, but it looks a lot bigger. And that is the grand tour of the house. Cleaned, packed away. I am totally excited for pictures tomorrow. I feel very, very good about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying our move. I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. I know we have some friends coming over from Instagram. Really, really excited to have a video that has 2 million views over on Instagram and super excited to have some new farm friends. Bye. buyers the sellers <laughs>